Hey there, Color Quest friends. This is Margaret Bird, and I am so happy to have you here in my natural dye studio. The past few weeks, we have been revisiting the natural color rainbow and looking at some different ways to bring about new colors within our dye practice. So far, we've looked at yellow with weld, orange using an over dye method, between weld and matter root. And last week we went into the green realm by looking at how logwood could change weld dyed fiber into a very unique green. Today on Color Quest, I'd like to continue looking at green and this time with a sort of over dyeing process, but using a color modifier, and that is iron. One of my favorite ways to shift colors. So let's jump into the studio and look at how we might welcome green by shifting weld with iron. As you know, green haunts me and I find it difficult to find because it's just quite rare out there in nature, at least in the ways of natural color for dyeing. And by utilizing different types of processes, we can shift colors. And we've actually been shifting to find green using iron in several videos. If you go back through the library, you will see us using the yellow dyed fiber of things like mushrooms and shifting those using iron. The variation of green shades that we were able to welcome at the Fungi and Fiber Symposium last year was pretty remarkable and it was all with yellow dye that had come from different kinds of mushrooms. There's been a few videos here where we've looked at different kinds of leaves that bring about a yellow when used and then shifted those using iron, both in the pot as well as in some echo prints. And if I'm really stretching my brain, I can remember that we tested iron water out and used it with yellow onion skins, and those also brought about a green color. I also used iron to welcome green as I was working in Peru. We took the chilka leaf, which brought about yellow, and we shifted to some lovely colors of green, all with the help of iron. Most recently, we looked at marigold dye and that produced a great yellow, kind of a golden yellow. And we shifted a wool skein that had been dyed with that marigold using iron into a lovely earthy green. So if a flower like marigold, for example, is producing yellow, then it's possible that by introducing it to iron, we will bring about green. And that's what I'd like to try today. Weld is a flower. The yellow is quite vibrant, much more so than the marigold. And I'm hoping that when we put it into an iron bath, we're going to see a brand new green welcomed into our dyer's palette. So let's get our fiber soaking it has already been washed and pre-treated with a mordant prior to being dyed with weld. You can go back and watch that video if you want to learn more about that process. Today, we're simply going to be wetting our fiber. We do that before we work with fiber in any dye pot because we want to remove the oxygen from the fiber itself and just give those fibers a chance to sort of open up and allow there to be a better intake of dye. 
In this case, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, even though we're introducing it to iron, we want that well-dyed fiber to be good and wet. So let's get that soaking, and then we can make our iron water. As you know, I use it frequently in my own dye practice, and I have graduated to what's known as iron powder, or something that's also known as ferrous sulfate. I talk about it often here at Color Quest. I buy mine from Botanical Colors and it is a green powder. In order to handle it safely, I do need to wear a mask and gloves because it can fly into the air and around other parts of my kitchen. So be careful when you're using iron powder because it can migrate to other things in your studio and potentially even attach to fiber so that it will shift the color on something else. If you do not want to use iron powder, you can go back and learn about how to make your own homemade iron water. It's a simple technique, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of water, and some kind of rusty metal, you're gonna get yourself some iron water. You do not have control over the percentages in that way, but it works beautifully, and I have several videos early on at Color Quest where we looked at using homemade iron water in our dye practice. Today, for simple reasons, I'm going to use my good old standby of iron powder. It doesn't take much with iron powder. I will make a bath using simply a tiny pinch. I will dissolve it in some hot water and then add additional water to accommodate for the fiber that I'm using. Any utensils that you're using for iron should be exclusively for iron. That goes the same for anything within your dye studio. Do not mix your cookware with what you're working on in your dye studio. And then you're gonna wanna even separate your iron-based utensils from your dye-based utensils. Iron has a way of sticking around and it will discolor things if it comes into contact with other porous surfaces. So while our fiber is soaking, let's go ahead and make up a small batch of iron water and then we can simply place it into the bath and see what happens. Okay, my iron water is ready. Now, my wet fiber is going to go in, I'm going to be moving it around, and I'm going to be watching it carefully because what's going to happen is that it can change very quickly and I can always remove it at any point in which I feel like I've achieved the color that I want. If I leave it in too long, it will keep darkening that color or shifting that color, and I may go into a brown realm. And who knows, I might get brown anyway. So I'm gonna be watching it very carefully. And I'm going to pull it out as soon as I like what I see, and then I need to rinse it immediately. Iron will continue to work its magic until it is removed from the fiber. So make sure that once you find that color that you get it immediately into water and rinsed away.
Well, friends, that was definitely green and that was definitely fast. I only left the cotton and silk in for less than 60 seconds and saw that it was changing quite rapidly. It's kind of hard to see in the video. It looked a little bit more like a deeper yellow, but it was pretty green here. It is more in an olivey shade. And once it dries, I'll take a look at it next to the weld pieces. The wool took a little bit longer. I think I left it in there for maybe five minutes max and it's going to appear a slightly different shade, but they are all green and it was so easy. When you work with iron though, remember it can work really fast. So be prepared and watch your surfaces. You definitely don't want iron water spreading around. It is not toxic, but it will get in places you might not expect it to. So these pieces are now air drying. Then we'll take a look at them next to the weld and then we should look at what's going to happen next week on Color Quest. And here are the results. The wool, silk, and the cotton. A beautiful green. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like an olive green, but it's kind of vibrant over here. And here are the weld samples. So by just introducing those into a few seconds up to five minutes for the wool and we got ourselves this lovely shade of green. The shade that we got today over dyeing or color modifying may be a better word for it with iron is maybe one of my favorite colors of green. I know that so many people out there are looking for something closer to a bottle green or maybe a Kelly green. And perhaps next week on Color Quest, as we continue looking at the rainbow and exploring ways in which to specifically make green, we're gonna bring out the true star and that is indigo. So yellow and blue make what? Green. Let's see what we can do next week on Color Quest with an over dye using indigo and weld. I hope that you are enjoying this rainbow train. And if so, remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your good friends, and anyone you know who might enjoy it, they might wanna subscribe and join us here in our colorful family at Color Quest new video content every Friday. So have a great week and get back here next Friday. Take care. We shifted that using iron. It, we shifted and we shifted marigold dyed and we shifted it uh, and we